Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Plastic Empire Podcast. I'm Bill Singh. I'm Alan Kaplan. And, and we are the Plastic, Plastic Empire. <laughs> well, welcome to the show. This is our very first show. Um, we're two-thirds of the Plastic Empire. Pedro couldn't be here today. Um, had some family things going on. But we just want to discuss some things, talk some toys and comics, etc. Um, tomorrow... Yes, tomorrow is actually NJCC, otherwise known as the New Jersey Collectors Con. Uh, it's located at Cherry Hill Holiday Inn. That's 2175 West Marlton Pike, Route 70, uh, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Uh, it's taking place from around 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Uh, it's pretty much run by the His Tank Group, uh, HisTank.com. Fran over at Des- uh, I believe his nickname is Destro on His Tank. That's right. Yeah. And uh, so basically, you know, there's going to be a lot of old toys there, new toys there. Uh, Grimm is going to be there uh, from uh, Grimm's Toy Show. And uh, a lot of other exciting things like door prizes that are going to be happening throughout the day. So it's kind of something that we do um, with our crew. And, Tri-State uh, Vipers. Tri-State Vipers, calling them out. And uh, so we're going to do it tomorrow. And uh, that's essentially going to be our day. There's, um, there's also... Like like Alan said, there's some door prizes. Now it goes the door prizes go from nine AM to three thirty. Um this show is is heavy Transformer and G.I. Joe. The original I believe first two shows were mainly just G.I. Joe and Transformers. And then they started to branch out into other toys. So it's a great show for Transformer fans and G.I. Joe fans. However, now there's plenty of other toys. At this show. Yeah, I mean, you know, one of the door prizes is going to actually be uh, Force Awakens six inch black series TIE Fighter. Yeah. So they are awesome branching piece. out to Star Wars. That thing too. is insane. Yeah. You know, the, um, they also, let's see, let's go over. They have uh, the mug at 9 a.m., the early bird. There's uh, two mugs, actually. Two one mugs. for uh, Darth Vader, one for Spider Man. Spider Man, right. Um, nine, again, 9 a.m. also has the gentle giant ro- rock and roll. Now let's talk about that. Yeah, so this is actually the. Technically, the first G.I. Joe uh, General Giant Jumbo figure that's been released. They did release Grunt. Grunt was released as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive in a Foot Locker package. Yeah, this was the first general public release. Right, and it's it's notable because it's the first time it was released on an actual card. Uh, very similar to the General Giant Jumbo Star Wars figures, which, again, they released pretty much on vintage card backs. So the front card backs look exactly like how they looked when they first came out back in the day. Uh, the backs for the Star Wars look a little bit different, but the backs for the G.I. Joe are almost exact. It doesn't show all the 9 to 11 characters that are out the time, right, but it right. does show the characters that are coming out soon. And the file card is exactly as is. It's yeah. the exact file card. It's, it's nice and big, too, the, yeah. the file card. And actually, the card stock itself is pretty thick, um, which is which is cool. Um, it's obviously not as thick as the original Joes, but um, pretty thick compared to what I expected. You know, so... That's awesome. Um, let's see. Let's go back to what they're offering here. At 10 a.m., they got the Combiner Wars Devastator. Uh, that's the early bird Megador prize at 10 a.m. So. And that is something that we reviewed with Pedro. Shameless plug. Yeah, yeah. Um, the uh, next would be the the uh, NJCC custom giveaway uh, of the Dreadnought Gator Raider with Death Metal. I believe that was the last. Uh, yeah, that was their last custom. So that's something else about the, the show. Not every show, but for many of these shows... Uh, there are guys from His Tank who basically come together and they come out with custom uh, items, you know, kind of third party, you know, G.I. Joe items, not under the brand of G.I. Joe, of course. And uh, this is something that they created last time. Um, Death Metal is an original Dreadnought and the Dreadnought Gator Raider is, uh, I'm trying to th- think of saying it's a, mo- it's a moccasin. It's a repaint. moccasin with, yeah. with custom. They've done some custom work on it. Right. Yeah. So they did this at the last show, but they're offering it again uh, as a door prize for this show. Yeah, which is which is cool because then it gives an opportunity for for another shot at it. Um, and then you got at eleven is uh, Giga Power HQ03. What is that? Gutar? Gutar. I'm not really familiar with this. Actually, I'm not sure what that is. I'm, I'm guessing this. it's a third party, possibly. Yeah, maybe. Um, then the next at twelve p.m. is X Transbots uh, MXI Apollyon. Which is they're putting here, not Megatron. That's the Megatron. Well, not the not Megatron uh, so, masterpiece edition. It's kind of Megatron and masterpiece scale. Yeah. Only it's done by a third party third company. Third party, right? Um, then at one p.m. you got the Mega Blocks NYCC uh, 2015 
an exclusive grab bag. It's uh, full of Halo and Call of Duty sets. So that's pretty cool. Um, I know you just got into the Call of Duty recently. That is something that I'm collecting <laughs> that I was not collecting before and uh, I'm getting involved with now. Down the wormhole. And uh, just getting back to the Giga Power. So yeah, these are basically third-party Dinobots. Oh, that's cool. Uh, essentially. Which one, so, which one? All of them? Uh, the, this one for HQ03. This one, I believe, looks to be... And I apologize. I'm uh, trying to figure it out <laughs> here with my very slow phone. Uh, but I think this one might be Sludge. Sludge? Okay. Um, if I'm incorrect, we'll edit that out. <laughs> no big deal. Um so yeah, so back to the Mega Blocks. You you went down that hole pretty pretty hard, huh? Yeah, I uh, it's something I started collecting after I had I, I was living in California. I came back to New York and uh, needed to fill my life with things, so I decided to <laughs> uh, get involved with something new. And this is the Mega Blocks. Pretty much, are if you're you know if you're a GI Joe fan, the Call of Duty sets are really great. They're they're kind of like uh, multi articulated, small two and two and a half inch figures with a lot of accessories. Um, they have via their own vehicles. They have their own packs. Uh, they have troop buildings. So they're a lot of fun. Um, you know, like I said, I've been involved with them for the last few months. But uh, this is something I didn't even really notice until we start talking about it here that they are having that grab bag, which is hopefully you win it. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> um, so then two p.m. we got the um, gentle giant snake eyes, which you know, hopefully I, I'm hoping to win that. <laughs> but uh, you know, aren't we all um, us GI Joe fans? I guess. I'm in love with the Gentle Giant. I, I can't wait for more to come. Uh, hopefully they don't stop the line. Um, I feel like they haven't shown anything new, and all they've uh, pre- sent for pre-order so far is what they've shown at, uh, what was it, Toy Fair a couple years ago? Yeah, so right now the only figures that are on tap are Grunt, which already came out as an exclusive, will be on card eventually, Rock and Roll, which came out, Snake Eyes, which is next, then there's Stalker and Zap. Yeah, and that's all that's on the uh, in the pipeline as of now. Right. Hopefully, it doesn't uh, doesn't end there. Yeah. Um, and then three p.m. You you like you said earlier the uh, six inch Black Series Tie Fighter. Yeah. So this is one of the newer toys that's out. Uh, it's for Force Awakens. It's basically vintage six inch scale, so it is huge. That thing is big. <laughs> it's uh, it's a two hundred dollar piece actually. So oh really? Uh, yeah. I, I didn't look at the pricing. Yeah. So well, that we... that would be an amazing uh, W for anybody. Exactly. You know, good luck to anybody out there. Hopefully I win it. <laughs> um, all right, all joking aside there. Uh, so, all right, back to 3.30. Um, another Combiner Wars uh, Devastator. That's a mega prize. Um, that's the last prize along with uh, a, another uh, custom giveaway, Dreadnought Death Metal. Right. So that's the figure himself. That's uh, The Gatorator isn't included with that uh, giveaway. Exactly. Um, so... The moccasin, essentially. Um, so, so that's it for tomorrow. NJCC. Uh, this, is a, this is a fun show, man. It's very crowded all the time. It's it's lively. <laughs> you know, great place to eat over there um, in the hotel. Red, blue, orange, and black. <laughs> I'm I'm kidding because I can't remember the name of the damn place. It's uh, something like red, red, white, and purple. Do you remember? <laughs> I can't remember the name of it either. <laughs> and I got to look up the hotel the two with to they, see. But uh... they they have good food there though. So. Uh, you know, it's always a good time. Good time with friends and seeing uh, guys that you don't get to see all the time. But us Tri-State Vipers, we'll be out there in force. And, of course, the uh, Plastic Empire. Um, another thing I, I was uh, looking at recently that, that came up was the the loyal subjects, Masters of the Universe. Yeah. I mean, the prototypes of these things are insane. Yeah, loyal subjects essentially has taken their game up a new level. They stepped the um, vinyl game up. Heavy. Yeah, when, when they first came out, uh, they came out with some really nice vinyl pieces for G.I. Joe, for Transformers, but they were still very, I'm going to call them ordinary. I mean, they pretty much just had like very little all final finger. They like were all vinyl, like, yeah. right? There was nothing really right. different. They were like smaller versions of Mighty Bugs. Yeah. Um, their arms moved, the legs moved, and that was pretty much it. The what they're coming out with now, um, they're more highly detailed. Um, there's a little bit more articulation, and Masters of the Universe in particular have features. They have many faces where you can actually flip the heads like yep. the vintage figure. Yep. Um, their Skeletor and their Trap Jaw are going to have hinged jaws, so you could actually make them their jaws move. And uh, that's all they've released so far, as far as images go. More to come. Don't know a release date yet, but. Uh, yeah, I believe it they were just pro- in prototypes. They were just prototypes. I mean, they're, that, they're changing that vinyl game just, just off of those little features, you yeah. know. The, the switch, switching of the head, the faces for many faces, and, uh, 
you know the the accessories that come the the sword comes in and out of the uh, yeah the Skeletor uh, sheath in his back. That's right. Um, you know, so so I mean that's awesome. Um, let's talk about some custom stuff too. Um, we've recently seen. Um, what do you, what have you? Uh, what was the one you were telling me about earlier? Well, the the one of them that I'm picking up right now. There's uh, some Masters of the Universe customizers out there. Yeah, and. Uh, mm. One of them is actually going to be doing for me a, a battle armor faker. Um, he does some That's various. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know. I, I probably shouldn't say the name because I don't know. I don't want to get anybody, you know, in trouble with right. uh, with Mattel. Right. But uh, there are some third party customizers out there. This particular guy, uh, he will do you know vintage figures, and uh, this particular one again, what I'm doing is a battle armor faker. Uh, so it's faker with the old school battle right. armor where you could touch it with the sword and it flips up and it yeah. shows battle damage. So does he do? Does he do? Um specific customs for for your your needs and your your wants or does he have a line where he does runs he'll do 10 of this 10 of that 10 of this he kind of does it by commission by so commission. he does it for himself just to show right and then if anybody's interested in it they, he will either put it on ebay yeah. or he'll give you an opportunity to purchase it from him that's cool yeah. i so keeping with the the he-man um i recently ran across one of uh was it my pet monster Yes, you know it was a my pet, a blue flocked my pet monster He Man style, uh, with the chains and all. Um, I, I, you know, growing up, my brother had a my pet monster, um, and I, I always thought he was cool as hell. You know, we used to wrestle him and throw him around, run him around everywhere. I loved the chains and and how those chains broke. You know, they would break. Um, so when I saw this custom, I was I was pretty baffled by it. Um, it's it was by Pack Rat Studios, um, studio uh, studios yes. Um, so that was cool, and I love the fact that he was flocked. You know, it just it just it just stood out to me. You know, and I and I don't know how he got the head. I really don't. I don't know if there was like a uh, that might just been an original sculpting. Yeah, it it might be. Well, I don't know. Maybe back in the day, maybe when my pet monster was hot. All I remember is my pet monster. Apparently, he had all these buddies. That I didn't know about, yeah. you know, I only knew about the the regular My Pet Monster himself. Um, so maybe they had a little toy back in the day, also like a smaller toy. And either way, whether he, if he if he custom sculpted that, that, that's another great, amazing job. Yeah. Um. So that that that's that's an, that's another thing um, that I, I'm really enjoying is just looking at these customs. Um. Uh, what was that one? The Transformer. Um. We were, that we look oh uh, Le, uh lek customs the the mp10 was an mp10 yeah it's kind of like optimus prime mp10 but he's painted to look like optimus prime from the recent uh transformers devastation game right right basically the cartoon basically the cartoon yeah. with a lot more shading a lot more of the yeah. uh, animated look more from the game than the actual tv show right yeah i mean I, just mind blowing just mind blowing and in terms of the the quality of painting and the the style, and he also did it with um, Soundwave. Soundwave, yes. Yep, he did a Soundwave yeah. as well. I mean, I, I'd love I'd love to get. I mean, the the, the MP10 alone is what 150 bucks, probably I think more so. now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's been out a while. It's, it's been out a while. They keep reissuing yeah. it, but uh, it's oh, still okay. an expensive. Okay, so, so mold. it might be yeah, you know, 150 bucks, and then how much you think he's going to charge you to to do the custom work as well. That's not, that can't be cheap because no, that, no. that's some serious work, you yeah. know. I'd love to get one eventually, um, you know. Um, you know, anything else uh, on on your plate? I mean, for me, again, uh, I also get something from, again, not going to really, you know, give the, the dude's name just because I don't want to get anybody in trouble with, uh, with uh, in this case, would be WWE, but there is a gentleman who, uh, he does customized LJN Wrestling Superstars figures, Um I've gotten a couple from this guy, and I'm waiting on some others. Um, so basically, he's taking the old wrestling superstar figures from the 80s. He's doing some recasting, some remolding to change their positions and putting them in specific outfits. Um, I had a Hulk Hogan done in his American Maid era. Um, I'm getting a Roddy Piper done from the uh, uh, War to Sell the Score. We wore the Hulkamania shirt. I've had a Macho Man Randy Savage done wearing the purple Macho Man shirt from 1985. Um, so that's something else that I've been dipping my... Uh, my toes in as far as water goes. For, he, uh, he does awesome work. I love the work he's done for you. He does. And uh, didn't he get a um, Brooklyn Brawler done? He did. Thank you. That's the other one I got <laughs> done. Yes, he, he took a Don Morocco figure 
and uh, painted as the Brooklyn Brawler. That was the first one I actually got. And like from you him. said, now he's he's chopping figures up and re recasting. Yeah, and yeah. He's doing casting and changing heads yep. and, and and poses and stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, the level of custom work out there is just it's on another planet. And yeah, it's its own business now. Yeah. I mean, they you know, they just they have to be careful because they have to. They they can't advertise the way they would most likely want to because right. they can get in big trouble with the companies that do own these properties. Right. So, yeah. Um, skipping back around uh, to vinyl, uh, you see? Did you see the Gray Skull, the Pop, the Pop Castle Gray Skull? Yes, I did. I mean, it, I, Loyal Subjects is taking it to the next level, especially with vehicles and such. Uh, with the GI Joe line that's coming, uh, I guess not coming. New, but they're revamped, and it's I guess series three or two. I think it's series two. Yeah, and so, uh, um, yeah, they're they're doing because for for the GI Joe, they're actually doing a vamp, right? Which is the Jeep, yeah, uh, which is going to be able to have clutch with sit it. in it, sit in it, uh, like you actually put them in. That's what I like the vehicles, you know, right? You know, and that's kind of with the Pop Gray Skull. I like that because it's it's scaled large, so the figures can actually stand next to it, and you kind of feel like it's. An except like a playset, exactly. You know, so that's pretty cool. Um, now let's talk. I know, I know. You know um, what we're doing. I mean, we're we. If you guys want to support us, you like what we're doing. You all like what we're doing. You know, send us a message. Um, uh, Theplasticempire dot com. That's our website. Um, you could you join our join our forums. Talk with us. Um, yell at us. Curse at us. Call, you know, whatever you want to do, give us good feedback, bad feedback. Um, you know, we're, this this is our first official, I guess, podcast. Not, I wouldn't even say it's, it's official. official because we don't right. have our third member we're miss, with us. Yeah, we're missing Pedro. Um, but you know, even so, just so you know uh, where you can check us out and what we're doing, we're looking. Um, actually, currently, uh, we're going to be working on um, a Master of the Universe 200x. Uh, I guess that's how you would say it. Um, archive. Also, I'm big into Commando's uh, M- MSL, uh, which is uh, Brazilian, the G- Brazilian GI Joe line, and I'm gonna do. Uh, I finally finished that line, um, all all 124 figures. So I'm gonna um, start taking pictures of those, and I'm gonna try to do comparison shots. So we're gonna have that on uh, the website as well, so that can be looked at. And um, our plan is to also do um, the Masters of the Universe Classic line. Uh, an archive from that. Uh, thank you to our friend Eddie, uh, another Tri-State Viper. He's going to loan us those figures so we could take those pictures and stuff. Um, and then as we just get new items, we're going to try to take pictures. Um, right. I'm waiting for a box of WWE Mystery Minis. Yep. Photo shoots and yeah. little reviews. And, you know, Pedro hopefully will uh, be coming through with some good reviews down the line. We have uh, a nice little Devastator, uh, little Devi review coming. Um it's an editing for probably about a month now. <laughs> uh, we'll get around to it. I promise. I promise. But, uh, you know, just some fun stuff. And, you know, we're just, we just want to talk toys, man. It's what we love. It's what, what we like to do. Um, can't wait for tomorrow. I get to see some great friends. Uh, get to look at some great toys. And, um, you know, uh, anything else um, going on that you've seen lately? Um, I Oh, one one pretty interesting thing i'm sorry so that we're jumping around here i mean we have we have some things we're, we want to talk about but uh recently uh coming back i was visiting my grandmother and uh we were coming back we stopped at cracker barrel and um you know we're waiting for a table uh busy weekend you know so of course cracker barrel is like a madhouse um so whatever we're we're hanging out and buy the candy and my girlfriend mary she goes oh look at this gi joe you know so she pulls out Little tins, little GI Joe tins. It's pretty cool. And then uh, they also had um, Transformer. Um, Megatron was on it. I believe it was just Megatron on both sides. The uh, the GI Joe ones. One just said GI Joe. Um, the other one had a vamp on it. And uh, it was pretty cool because it was vintage esque. It wasn't like newer, you know, animation. It was all vintage look. You know, vintage. almost like mini lunch boxes. Right. And uh, they they had um, jelly beans in them. So you know, it was pretty cool. So we picked those up. And a uh, little thing that I didn't expect to see at a cracker, you know, a cracker barrel. You know? Yeah, I mean that's the thing. I think that a lot of uh, a lot of '80s properties and franchises right now are being licensed out to very, very, 
various companies. Yeah. And so there are little surprises like this that are coming out. There's a little subjects that we discuss. So mm-hmm. rather than just the traditional toys that are used to be coming out, there are a lot more licensees getting involved doing other formats yeah. for these franchises. Now, skipping around again, uh, just thought about this. We were talking Gentle Giant earlier. Did you uh, rip open your Hobgoblin yet or no? Not yet. Well, you, Not yet. You got the, what was it, um, Secret Wars, right? Secret Wars Hobgoblin? Yeah, so Secret Wars is another line that General Giant is doing. They're taking the original Secret Wars figures from 1984, blowing them up to 12-inch scale. Um, so far, the only negative about them is that they are not including their lenticular shields. Yeah. So it really is just the figures, though the Hobgoblin does come with his glider, so that's well, impressive. Yeah, that glider. It, it, it's a heavy figure, I can yeah, say that it's much. it's very heavy. Um, that's a little disappointing that uh, they're not coming with the with the shields because... You know, as far as Star Wars, they've been down to the T, right? Well, the thing with Star Wars, though, is that they only came with their weapon accessories. Um, there's not really much really intricately more involved than just re-sculpting those. I think right. the problem with Secret Wars probably is is that maybe they could have done the shields. It's the lenticulars that may not have been as easily replicated, replicated yeah. through 3D printing. Um, in order to be able to get that lenticular look, so right. that could be what the issue is. Uh, at that point, I, I feel like you just you do something, even if you got to put a paper, yeah, similar, you know, something similar with like a just a paper. Yeah, glued it on, is it is a lacking feature, know. unfortunately, of the yeah. figures. So you really have to have a love for the figures themselves. Yeah, uh, for that line, but uh, that line is growing. Yeah, uh, the next figure is going to be the Black Spider Man. So uh, the next release, the but, next the, release. but the last pre-order had, was Magneto, I believe, right? On um, the last pre-order, I believe was Daredevil, actually. Oh, uh, that was bef- that, that was, was after, after Magneto. Magneto. They okay. just put Daredevil up uh, oh, okay. a few weeks ago. Okay, I didn't realize. So that. yeah, so they're pumping those out. Those are those are being pumped out right now at a greater rate than the Star Wars and yeah. the GI Joes are at this point. You said Star Wars, you just haven't even heard a thing. No, about, right? Star Wars off the face of the earth. Yeah, the last one that came out was Ugnaught. And then they had made an announcement uh, two years in a row, actually, that they were planning on doing uh, a Job of the Hut playset. So taking the original Job of the Hut playset, making it 12-inch scale, which means you will need a garage to probably <laughs> house it. That is ins- that thing is going to be insane. Yeah, man. but there's been nothing about it you know, for a while now. Yeah. So General Giant is, seems to be in a weird place as far as the rate that they're coming out with their, their figures. The other line that they are doing... Um, which is being announced at a rapid rate is superpowers. Superpower, yeah, yeah. So super, but they're not doing the um, the action. No, exactly. You know, so squeeze they're, they're, the legs and the arms. Yeah. You know, flash. Exactly. <laughs> That's not going to be happening. They're yeah. just going to be sculpting the actual figures themselves. Um, exactly as they were presented back right. in eighty four. I mean, it's that's kind of understandable with the with the scale. Yeah, it would be awesome to have a twelve inch flash that he squeezes legs and his arms just punch. You probably knock somebody out. Yeah, no, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Somebody pisses you off next, like, crack. <laughs> but again, if you if you love the aesthetics of the figures, it's still a great line to collect. Yeah. So that seems to be their big focus right now is uh, Secret Wars and Superpowers. Yeah. I, I'm really hoping that the G.I. Joe line doesn't go by the wayside. I mean, yeah. you know, we've talked about that, you know, numerous times. I think when, uh, what was it, 3D Studios took over Gentle Giant? Yeah, exactly. As, basically, just as they were, just as Gentle Giant announced the G.I. Joe line, 3D Studios, t- it seems like they took over, changed the website, um, and instantly, rock and roll was the cheapest, I believe, at a hundred dollars. Yeah, and then um, the rest of them went up, and in then price. the rest just jumped to a hundred and twenty dollars. You know, yeah. so uh, you know that's that's kind of a bad sign. <laughs> you know, especially on on a on a a line where GI Joe fans, sorry guys, they're a little fickle. They you know if it's not three and three quarters, um, they're. They're not really interested in it, you know. Loyal subjects, you know. Some, some, some people obviously are. I am. You are. Yeah, um, and I think honestly, and again, no offense, to GI Joe fans. I think it's also a matter of GI Joe fans don't like to spend a lot of money. Right. Right. And these are very, very expensive, expensive figures, right. and they're very niche figures. Right. So a lot of things I'm hearing is, oh well, how many of the same item am I going to get? Well, how many, how many snake eyes have you bought? Since they've done these new molds, the modern molds, you know, which to me is. If you are willing to jump to a modern mold from vintage, what's the difference from jumping from a modern mold to a jumbo vintage? I mean, it's awesome. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I, I, know, it, it, I, cu- I cuddle up in bed with one of those yeah, bastards. Yeah, it scratches my edge. I always like the stuff. I know that not yeah, I love it. fan loves it. But right. uh, 
I am all about getting all the stuff that I bought when I was a kid is bigger. Right. Uh, I mean, it, how could you not love bigger? Bigger's yeah. better, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, but um, that's about it, man. I mean, uh, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate it. Um, look for more of these from us. Like I said, please let us know what you think. Good, bad, ugly. You know, troll us. Yeah, we're here. I'll we'll tra- we'll we'll troll your uh, ass back, man. We ain't playing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hopefully be coming back soon, talking about what happened at NJCC and how the show was. Yeah, give you give you a little feedback, and then hopefully Pedro can make the next episode here. Yes. Um, check out the website plasticempire.com. Um, you know, look for some things on there. Um, I'll be, I'll be. Um, Starting that archive this week, I believe. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get the pictures up, but uh, you know, we're gonna have to organize them and stuff uh, once once they're taken, and then uh, you know, well, I'll get with Alan and Pedro, and we'll figure out how we're gonna lay out everything. Uh, on the website, you might see that you know we've already started the lay- page layouts, but um, as far as the the pictures and stuff are concerned we'll uh we'll figure that out and then uh we'll bring you that info you know so thanks again for checking us out and uh we'll talk to you next time yeah take it easy